Baby, don't check for me Taking time out Hey guys, it's Sharika. Welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe before you leave. Today is Monday. I'm actually in the middle of filming a video for my food channel. I got this really cute sushi kit from Amazon. I'll have the link to it in the description box below. But one of my followers on Instagram had tagged me in a video where they were making the sushi. Y'all know I know how to make sushi by hand. I've done it several times on this channel. Um, but I just thought that that was really, really cool. So I'm like, oh my gosh, I need that. So I'll link the video down in the description box below. If you guys are interested in seeing how it works, how everything turned out, I'm going to keep it pretty simple and just do, um, you know, some basic sushi, the imitation crab meat, cucumber, avocado, stuff like that. Just something really, really simple until I get everything down packed with how to properly use the maker and then will turn up okay so i'll link that in the description box below i'm getting ready to do that and i'll see you guys in a few hey y'all today is tuesday let me get y'all back some i know i need to change my battery i just got back in from the gym and then i stopped by a few places i went to maybe like three stores today because i've been looking for those birkenstocks i just think they're so cute and I want to get me a pair. Well, I want to see how they look on my feet. And they didn't have any in store. Not the kind that I like. I went to Nordstrom, Dillard's, Famous Footwear, and DSW. I haven't been in DSW in years. And they have some really cute shoes in there. So, I bought two pair. I got... Two pair of Jennifer Lopez. She got some really cute shoes. So I bought two of the same shoes, just different colors. This shoe right here is so cute. I just really like this style because I love pumps. If you guys have been following me for a while, y'all know when I worked in corporate America, I'm a pump girl. I love pumps. So it's this style right here. But it has like, I guess you would call that mesh. Can y'all see that? Hold on, let me try to focus. Okay, there you go. So this is how they look. And I just thought that these were so cute. So they're just like the ones that I just recently bought. But like I said, they're um, like the black mesh. I guess that's what you would call it. And then the heel is a little thick and then it has the strap around the ankle really cute so I bought the black pair and I bought the green pair these are so cute they look really really pretty on the foot maybe I try one on for y'all before I try to black them on. They are super cute. I'll try to see if I can find these and link them in the description box if any of you girls are interested. But she had some really, really cute shoes in there. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I need to start shopping at DSW because I haven't been in there in, oh my gosh, years. Like years. The heel isn't too high. Perfect. Then I went to Home Goods just to stick my head in there to see if they had anything new. And I bought some, oh, this camera don't focus that well. I bought some pumpkin pie uh, sugar-free syrup. I'm gonna try to create a low calorie fall drink for myself. So I bought that. Then I went to Nordstrom's when I was looking for the Birkenstocks and then I had to stop by the restaurant. A lot of people asked me about the cookbook that I've been getting recipes out of lately and it is from Nordstrom just in case you guys missed it. But I went in there because I think like last week or the week before last, me and my little sister went in there to have lunch and we got the artichoke dip. I think I told y'all about it. It's so good. So I went in there just for the artichoke dip. They didn't have any more. So I'm like, uh. So, 
I did notice that they had some different dressings in there. And y'all know I've been really liking that restaurant, um, Brazil and Nordstrom's. And so they had the Dijon balsamic vinaigrette. So I bought this one. And then they had the champagne vinaigrette. So it looks like this. So I got those. And then they had these little drinks up there. So this is just like an iced tea. So this is blood orange hibiscus. It looks like this. I wanted to give this one a try. And then they had the peach ginger. Looks like this. So I grabbed those. And then I went to TJ Maxx. And y'all know sometimes you can find some really good skin care in there. So I needed some more of these. Um, facial eyebrow or facial razors whichever one you want to call it I like to get the black one so I got some of these um, and then I found this Estee Lauder perfectly clean fresh balancing lotion I've never used this before but I said I'll give this a try and then I found some Estee Lauder advanced night repair eye cream I always try to keep a nice eye cream. Y'all know I've been trying the Chanel um, eye cream, night cream. Um, I got the little sample. I'm all out of that. I didn't really notice like a big difference to pay $260 for it. So I'm currently using the Dermalogica eye cream. I'm almost out of that one. So I decided to try something new. So we'll give this one a try. Let me see how this one looks. Oh, it looks just like the other little creams. I have the nighttime cream with Estee Lauder, but I haven't used it in a while. So, yeah. The packaging looks just like this. So, yeah. I'm happy I got that one. Because if I'm not mistaken, when I bought my other one, she did give me a sample of this. This was $40, so hopefully it works. <laughs> And then, what else did I buy? Oh, I found some of this Peter Thomas Roth Exfoliating Super Peel. It looks like this. I've never tried this before, but y'all know I've been really into skincare lately. I've always been into taking care of my skin, but y'all know I've been trying to take it to the next level. So, I've been really into trying different things because I've always been afraid to try stuff. So, I always just stuck to what I know, but now I'm kind of, you know, just dibbling and dabbling into some different things. And then the last thing that I picked up was this peach and hibiscus eye patches, like this. So, I grabbed these. And this is how they look. And it's for brightening like that I'm gonna smell it because I want to see what it smells like oh they're so pretty so this is how they look they're so cute I love that so yes that is everything that I picked up let me change out my battery because it's getting ready to die on me I'm going to try on this shoe for y'all so y'all can see how they look they're so my feet ashy too, so I just came from the gym. But yeah, so cute and they are so comfortable. These are so cute. Can y'all see them? Can y'all get into the whole look? Take these off. I don't think I showed y'all last night, but this is my super sushi maker and child i had a hard time using this thing last night it was an epic fail but i still put the video up because i'm like girl we don't got time to be wasting no content around here but y'all know your girl okay y'all y'all already know i'm gonna figure this thing out so i watched a couple of videos while i was in the gym this morning so i'm gonna give it a try because i was gonna return it i was gonna return it but i said you know what I'm going to give it another shot. I'm going to watch a video. The way that they did it, everything looked really easy, but 
girl last night when I did this video on my other channel. It did not turn out as pretty as I thought it would. So we're going to give it another try. I'm not going to give up. And once I get it, I'll let y'all know. I'll probably play with it again later on tonight. I am getting ready to fix myself a salad because I'm hungry. And I'm going to try one of my new salad dressings. So I want to see which one I like. So let me turn this. Turn this light on. Wash my hands. Let's see which one. Turn y'all this light on because. Yeah, I made that sushi last night, child. It was a disaster now. Y'all know I've made sushi several times by, you know, the manual way on this channel. But I wanted the cute little heart sushi. And one of my followers on Instagram, I'm not too sure if she followed me on YouTube, but she sent me a video of the sushi maker. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I need it. And so I bought that one. I don't think that's the exact one, but it's, I mean, I guess it would be the same. Okay. I'm going to try the um, Dijon Balsamic Vinaigrette first. Because I love Balsamic Vinaigrette. So let's see how this one tastes. Okay. It's not bad. I think this is what they use on their avocado crab salad. I think this is the one that they use. I might make one of those instead. I've never had a champagne vinaigrette. So we're going to try this one. Instead of a salad, I'm going to make that avocado. I already know it because I know that's the dressing. I could taste it. I'm going to look it up because I got a cookbook over there. Mm, this one's good. This one tastes better. The champagne vinaigrette. Does it have real champagne in it? No, just champagne vinegar. This is really good. It's really low in calories. Two tablespoons is only 110 calories in this one. 120. So 110 for the champagne vinaigrette and 120 for the balsamic. So I'm getting ready to make myself some avocado, crab avocado toast is what I like to call it because it's basically what it is, avocado toast for me. Um, but I don't have my um, shibata bread. I like to do either shibata bread because that's what they do at the restaurant or either sourdough. And I don't think I have either. So I might just have to use like some regular wheat bread. But it'll be fine. So I'm going to just toast that and fix myself some lunch. Shower and probably just relax for the rest of the day. So I'll see you guys on don't tomorrow. prove me wrong. Prove you right. My word is bond. We don't spit no Uh, whew. I am back home from the store. I'm going to do a grocery store haul with, should I do a grocery store haul with y'all or should I save it? Yeah, I'll do one with y'all. show y'all what I picked up. And this is my new baby. I actually purchased this yesterday. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you saw this picture. I showed it. But I couldn't bring it home because it does not fit in my trunk. That's just how big it is. Like, it's huge. So, I had to leave it. And my mother-in-law picked it up for me today. And this is how it looks. It's huge. It's probably the same height as me. It might not be coming off on camera like that. But it's huge. I'm going to replace this picture here. Y'all know I did this artwork maybe like two years ago. And I'm taking this down along with the picture light. I'm taking that down and I'm just going to put this picture up right here. So I was thinking about putting it in my studio 
um, over the chair because it would look really good in there but I like my little artwork that's in there right now so I'm gonna keep that up there and I'm just gonna put it right here let me show y'all this look at this it is huge it's like the same height as me okay so the thing is huge um, I seen this picture a few weeks ago and I'm like Okay, I really like this picture. Should I bring it home? I don't know, maybe not, I left it. And then I couldn't stop thinking about it, went back, it was gone. Um, probably like the next, the following week, I saw it again, but it was the smaller one. So I saw those and I'm like, oh my gosh. I cannot get this picture out of my head. And then I went home good yesterday, I saw it, I'm like, okay, I'm getting it. So. I grabbed it I really like it you can do this yourself but I like this it's really cute yeah I'm happy I got it so um thank you miss Cindy for helping me out bringing it here because girl I was like oh my gosh I don't know how much the delivery service would have charged to bring this because when I got my entertainment center over there they charge two hundred dollars to bring it but that's big so they probably wouldn't have charged that much but hey i didn't have to pay anything because my mother-in-law came through so let's go in the kitchen and i'll show you guys what i picked up from the store so i bought this set of flatware i thought this was really cute i've been eyeing this for a while and i bought this little extendable steamer and it has like the handle when I want to just do some steamed vegetables, you sit this on top of like a pot of water and then it'll just steam your vegetables. So I've been seeing this on Amazon. I actually have one in my Amazon cart. I wanted to see if I could find one before ordering it from Amazon. So I found this one at Target so I don't have to wait. And then I also bought a handheld spir spiralizer. So you could just create noodles with your vegetables. So... I bought the small one just because I don't have to worry about storage and different things like that. They have the bigger one that does multiple things, but I like this one. So hopefully it works great and I love it. So you could do anything pretty much. <laughs> um, you can do your zucchini, carrots, potatoes, beets, cucumber. So hopefully I like it. I actually have some frozen zucchini that I need to use, but I've been wanting to make my own zucchini noodles. So yeah, I'll let you guys know if I like it or not. This is everything that I picked up from Sprouts. So let's go through this really quick. Pineapple, coffee, cucumbers, raspberries, strawberries, tomatoes, spaghetti squash, organic salsa, capers, artichoke, non-dairy alfredo, blueberries, nectarines, baby bella mushrooms, avocados, lemons, and limes. So this is new. It's full of sugar, but I want to try it. So this is the OMG hashtag pumpkin season. I like this coffee brand, so grab that. And this has been my favorite coffee for a while. Extra Bold, the Stoke. And then I plan on making some of that spinach artichoke dip. I bought these last week, I love them. <laughs> and then I told you guys about this before. I bought this a while ago and I want to get it again so when I do my um, I'm doing some zucchini pasta and I'm gonna use this so I'll let y'all know or y'all follow me on my food channel and y'all will find out <laughs> and then um, yeah that is pretty much it oh I bought the pineapple because I did some juicing with some beets and ginger and I didn't have any more pineapple so I gotta add that to the juice because that ginger is kicking my butt <laughs> This is my first time trying the Sprouts Organic Salsa. 
because I like to get the late July but they only had the medium and that one is too hot for me so um yeah grab this the ingredients look pretty good only 10 calories so for two tablespoons though <laughs> that is everything i picked up from the store so yeah y'all that is it for today's video i hope you guys enjoy don't forget to like share and subscribe follow me on instagram i am sharika b and i'll see you guys on the next one Peace.